So it, he he takes you up, and there's this. I mean, it's a door. You guys are like, holy crap! Did right? I say a portcullis? Yeah, and just okay. solid iron door. And he takes this big giant knocker, uh-huh. hits it, uh-huh. waits a few seconds, hits it, waits a few seconds, hits it three times. Mm. <laughs> and then in about 30 seconds, you hear a latch, and then another latch, and then another latch. And you guys are all weaponless. You all, I, I assumed you followed the, the rule. Oh, yeah. And the door opens, and there's four guys standing there. They very, very armor. You know, they have, like, some chain on. They have their weapons out. And uh, they're just looking at you, and they're like, You idiot! We said two! He's like, Run. <laughs> What's their reaction to run? Their eyes get kind of big. They're like, also, and they're like, "Did you at least frisk him?" And he's like, "Run." <laughs> <laughs> so, so they come out and they kind of pat you down just to make sure you don't have any weapons. While while they're doing that, I look at the bum and I go, "Son, what's your name?" He tells you his name is. Wilson. Great name. No. <laughs> His name is Rooster. I'm going to call you Sirachi. <laughs> Sirachi. Sirachi, your love of pa- rum, the passion you have, is e- almost equal to my own, I suspect. I like you. There he goes. And I like your rum, so I guess it's a good uh, arrangement. For now. So they come out and they pat you and they start leading you up. And they lead you up a flight of stairs. And all around you, this place, the doors are like this thick. All the doors are closed. All the doors are locked. And you eventually reach your way near the top. You can hear some people moving up top. Like you can actually see them through. Like you wind up and you're in a room. And you see their stairs going up. And you can see people peeking down the stairs at you. And they must be on the very top level. They must be the ones moving the cannons around. And there before you is Lady Agusta. Smithy. How, how does the repair look on this place as we're getting escorted through it? Give me a perception roll. It, or if you... It, no, no you, if engineering? You, yeah, I was about to say, if you have engineering or woodworking or anything like that, absolutely. we got Sailor and Cook, dude. 20. Not my bag of worms. 7. 7. You're like, man, this place is awesome. <laughs> You're like, God, this place is in disrepair. <laughs> <laughs> what a shithole. Yeah. Beauty in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Lady Smithy goes. I spent the morning securing a pantry. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're like, I need a lock! God! <laughs> so, uh, uh, Lady Smithy kind of looks at you guys, and she, she looks like she knows how to wield a weapon. She's, she's holding her cutlass. She is kind of just spinning it, and you can tell she definitely has some natural ability in how to wield a weapon. And she goes, So what is it you're trading, and why are there four of you? Well, as to why there are four of us, you'll have to ask your man, Rooster. (laughs) She just shakes her head. Oh, it's like she knows. Yeah, 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 exactly. And what we've come to trade today, my lady, is hopefully information. I know it's not much, but we might know things that are of interest to you, and you might know things that are of interest to us. She kind of leans forward. She goes, do you know what interests me? Money? Yes. Yes, you're right. Money. Well, but based on what we know, you might be able to get some. Hmm. I link? like it. See that link there? See that link? Keep talking. 
Um, well, first I take the thing out of my neck. The coin. I go, what do you know about this? If anything. <clears throat> well, you're here to pay me money. No, I never said that. I thought you said our terms were about money. No, information and that's what you that could lead to money. Hmm. I know quite a bit about that. Well, we'll tell you what we know. And if it's enough for you, maybe throw something our way. Go ahead and give me a diplomacy. Come on, guys. This is my weak skill. Mouth, I need I you. will assist him. Mouth. By looking up into his eye, you know, looking at him like he's a great captain with true <laughs> respect. Mouth, I need your help. What are we doing, diplomacy? You just need ten or greater. Cock is cocked. You just need ten or greater to... Nineteen. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, a two. Four? Yeah, she goes, mm, it's going to take more than you just telling me some information to reveal what I know about it, because I already know and can tell I know more than you. So perhaps throw something in. And then I'll reveal what information I know. Uh, Cookie, how much rum do we have? Yeah, I mean, we were just well, in town. Well, so yeah, I mean, gotta... you're just in town, but here's the trade-off. I mean, you got a couple weeks worth of rum through normal rations, probably about three weeks. Mm -hmm. If all goes... Okay, quick time out. But you have to remember that. that if, all, <laughs> if, if all goes... Your, your crew... Doesn't necessarily want to go without rum either. Yeah, if, if, all go, rum. if all goes according to plan here, we're gonna go back to port and be celebrating the hell out of what just happened. So, don't don't deal all of it, but feel free to. No, but about two weeks worth would be. Well, no, how how heavily did they dip in last night? I was asking how what was left. Mm. So do we have like, okay? Three so we had three left? weeks. You you basically have three cakes. Okay. It's about a keg a week, a small keg like that. Okay. So we'll toss her two kegs. And they tipped in to one of them. What? Why don't and it's about half gone. So that would one. leave you yeah, with, one start with two one. and a half kegs. Give her one. Give her one. Okay, so tell her one mini keg or whatever. Whatever it is. <laughs> one keg of rum? One keg worth of uh, rum. Is that what you're going to do? I'll say, Captain, we have a keg of rum that we could be uh, generous with. Based on the thirst I've seen in your men... That seems like a very good start, doesn't it? She goes, they're weak, and it serves them well, though. Well, you need it for, to control them, yes? No, they listen to me. Oh. They actually are trapped here on the island with me. I choose to let them go. Hmm. Internal monologue, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> so she goes, okay. Okay, go wrong. Give me a diplomacy. It's like, damn it. Nothing to say about the rum mouth? The mouth is in deep concentration trying to figure out what he's about to do. <laughs> Ten. Ten? Yeah. She takes the offer. She doesn't seem very happy with it, but she does take the offer. <laughs> and she goes, so Spill, tell me what you know about that deep platinum there. I'll have to defer... I don't know everything. I, I, I know some, but most of it is known by my friend. And I Refer to your gimp bard? <clears throat> he doesn't like the term gimp, please. You've been <laughs> off the sea for a long time, haven't you, madam? This <laughs> island appears to have destroyed your perception. A gimp is one who cannot walk, one with a limp. What you see before you is a comic genius. I do an amazing cartwheel, <laughs> and then gimp. landing it perfectly. I do an amazing <laughs> cartwheel. That sounds like it requires a dex check to me. Yeah. Dex check? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This is... I'm performing. Oh, okay. Performing. So that's a 17. 17? 17 on the cartwheel. Oh, pull it off. Yeah, yeah. And then I land it. Mm -hmm. What you see here is not one who limps, but one who conveys the truth, the wisdom of the ages, the knowledge of the shackles. Oh, God. So and I turn to my cleric. And I say, not eyes. only! <laughs> it was rolling your eyes! <laughs> what, what were we trying to convince her of? The, the value of this gold coin? We're trying to tell her what we know about the Sahagan. Ah, yes! The pikeheads on your beaches. The pikeheads on your beaches, right? It's a problem that we know how to deal with, and you guys are clearly struggling with. Yeah, as I have three <laughs> dead ones. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I mean, to inspire terror into a creature such as that is a waste of time! 
They're simple reptiles, easily amused and treated with salt. And, and <laughs> do they like cartwheels? No. Alas, alas, they do not, my lady. So well, tell me, what do you know? What, what, what we know is that because he knows. He looks at you. He looks at her. It's a bit he goes, of a wild card. Are you with me? I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you lady. He's he's a bit of a wild card because we found this in the mouth of one of these creatures. What it was doing there, I have no idea. Maybe you do. It was in extremely shallow water. It had killed members of our crew, which. To my knowledge, it never happens, or very rarely happens. This is all unusual, but I've heard of reports of it happening elsewhere. Maybe you aren't aware of that, being that you're here in your hold. I, it seems that you've been uh, assaulted by these creatures. Do you have any idea of what could be causing this? She goes, may I see the coin? You'll give it back? Yes. She actually, that made her kind of laugh. <laughs> she takes the coin, and she looks at it, and you hear her say some, like, profane thing about a C-word and a bitch, and flips you the coin back. She goes, and that's all you know, you just found it. They attacked your ship, did they? Mm-hmm. How many? Four? I think it was three or four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think four. Yeah. So she goes, hmm. And you fended them off. With, without, without any problem. That's good to know. You must have a good crew then. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they've been bothering our island. And she pulls out, and she actually has three of the coins. Uh -huh. And she's like, I have three coins here from three dead priests. So they come from priests? They do. They come from the priests. That's where they come from. And right now, they have a pact. They have a pact with a bitch named Isabella Inkskin Locke. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know anything about her? Oh, yes. I know a bit about her. But, how much rum do you have? Well, <laughs> perhaps we can train something else. The Please. The possible whereabouts of one Barnum Terrigan? Mmm, give me a diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> he pipes in and starts dying all sorts of random. Am I assisting? Yes. Not with that Speak! Role. I'm Speak! Assisting with oh, a that's a 7, not a 1. 17. Speak! Oh, yeah, the unreadable dog, man. You're leaving all the diplomacy rolls to me. Am I You're the assisting? captain, man! Train that shit! That's a 10. <laughs> so 12. Um, you know. She nods. She goes, Yeah. Captain Harrigan. He's about as much of a bitch as Inkskin. Well, him we have first-hand experience with, not this woman. What do you know of him? Let's just say I'm on my current career, uh, career trajectory because of this asshole. Ah. Little press game. She nods. Kind of laughs again. <laughs> Believe me, revenge is in store unless you take it first. Fair warning. Well, I understand. And she kind of nods and just sits there and she goes, What information do you want from me? Well, anything that might serve to help us end the Sahagan threat. Leave your island in some measure of peace. She goes, Oh, so you're not here to crack the rock? Hmm. Well, not when you say you're trapped here. Why would we want to be trapped? <laughs> <laughs> she has a point. She goes, I said my men are trapped. And, I am not trapped. And besides, no, you said your men are trapped here like you are. No, no with, with her. Me. With, with, oh, with huh. her, yeah. Besides... If we came to crack a lock, do you really think we'd be stupid enough to allow our ship into your harbor, anchor it with cannons aimed at it, and then walk into your own chamber? How bad of pirates do you think we are? <laughs> did, laugh. Did, did you look at the bottom of that harbor? I didn't take the time. I was more worried about the cannons. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll see about four, four 
ships down on the bottom. Well, I'm All that came in to crack the rock. That's with, what I was going to say. Those men, or ghosts, or whatever you want to call them, clearly were idiots. Well, I'm here to legitimately trade information and then leave. Mm. Fair enough. So what do you want to know? Like I said, anything that might help us end the threat. Perhaps her whereabouts so we can talk to her about any involvement with these things. Yes, I want him to talk to Isabella Inkskin. <laughs> I want him to talk to her. Yes, yes, understood. Yes. And normally he's so talkative. I don't know and, what's and in please today. Do your cartwheel for her. Oh, I will. I yes. will. She'll be she'll be amazingly impressed. She goes. I don't know where her whereabouts is right now, but I do know something about these coins. And she takes it, right, and takes it, and she starts hitting it mm -hmm. with the edge of her, uh, with the edge of her cutlass. Like tipping it? Yeah, and you can hear an actual sound, but it only goes in one direction. It's the strangest thing you've ever, like, it doesn't echo, it doesn't move like normal sound, it only goes in one direction. Mm -hmm. So, she hits it. And, like, only Brie hears it. You guys don't hear it. And then, you know, she can move over here and then hit it. And, like, only Brie would hear it because... So, yeah. And she kind of shows you. She goes... It was in their mouths. Hmm. Yeah. Was well, there any idea why she's made a pact with these creatures? She was actually captured by them when she was a young girl. She was actually captured by a terrible terrible man when she was very very young her parents were captured her father was killed her mom was held prisoner she was held prisoner then her mom eventually died but not before teaching her the art of dark sorcery the bitch went native yeah. and then she goes she became and learned from this captain. This captain was so cruel, though, that any treasure map he had, he tattooed on her. Arrogant? No. That's an expensive like piece of ass. Yes, <laughs> it does sound like Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so, she's in search of these treasures, and she's willing to go to any lengths, and cord, you know, including making packs with Lavash too. Mm. And I think that is how she has come into contact. Well, maybe our, our gnome friend would tell the tale of how we defeated a creature of Lavash too. Ah, yes. But uh, I don't know if this is the right audience. Can't, what can we do to get something to eat around here? This is like the worst. Someone called it a castle. I mean, jeez. <laughs> she doesn't laugh at you. <laughs> we got nothing. Yeah. She goes, that's ink skin. You could take care of ink skin. That would be a good thing for the shackles. I find good to be a relative thing, but... It seems to be in everybody's interest for now. She goes, Harrigan on the other side. If you could take care of him, I'll give you the rock. It seems a little backwards. <laughs> you implied, Go take out the pirate council, you, and then you can have Tidewater Rock. <laughs> you imply desire where there is none. I want only my fortune. Mm. Well, I want a fortune too. So. This doesn't make do, any do your, sense. Do okay. your, uh, no, this doesn't make any sense. So, what's the problem with her? You're clearly not having an issue with these creatures. So, you've got three of them, their heads on the beach, and you've got their coins. Why, why is it a problem for you? Because they keep coming up on the beach, she tells you. So, just keep killing them. Well, that's, that's not always that easy. That's not without risk. Yeah. If, if her men go out fishing... And they get overtaken by them, killed by them, and, um, you know, and you see one of the guys is like, 
poor Jews. <laughs> like, you know, like he, he, they've already lost, uh, apparently they've already lost maybe a couple men to these things. So I think they are an issue for them. And why don't you have any rum? If you're sitting here on a trade route, she goes, like, why do you not have all the rum that you could possibly want? Well, it's uh, a good point. Not a lot of people come in here to trade. People come in here to crack the rock. And I thought you were a pirate. Uh, good question. Good. Now a good there's question. a good question. <laughs> My husband was a pirate. Uh. I just come from nobility and married incorrectly. <laughs> That's what she tells you. Knowledge nobility check. Uh oh. That's not oh, very like good. One. That's a ten. Oh. A ten? <laughs> Um, Everything on that die looks like a one. <laughs> yeah. yes, it, was a, it was a four. <laughs> you look at some of her rings on yes, her finger. Yes, yes, I studied them closely. And she's wearing Galton rings, which, oh, is, a, which is a noble me. family. Of course, the Galtons. They go way back. So why bother staying here then? Well, is it the Shihagan that have your men trapped here? And she kind of shakes her head. She goes, no. That's not what keeps my men trapped here. My men stay here because I tell them to. She seems very forceful about that. But why do you stay? If pirating is not your thing, and it was you're only here because of a bad choice you made in marriage, why not go back to your home and lead the noble life that Someone you give me an insight check. Mm. Wisdom. All of you can. Probably sense motive. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen. Sixteen. You know that probably just by her marrying a pirate, they disowned her. They disowned her. Oh. And so now this is really the only thing she has left is this piece of property. And... Uh, you know, it is on a trade route, but people don't really come here to trade very much. It's really built for like, oh, I can see that ship, and that ship looks like it might be carrying go something good. It. Let's go get it. But there's no boat in her harbor. So it, it, it is very much probably like she's trapped here and just not saying it, trying to be forceful about it. But you know that the, the family probably disowned her. After she had uh, married, yeah, that made that made married Iron Bert. So, out of curiosity, how many guards are in this room <laughs> right now? Yeah, <laughs> there's four guards. There's rum guy somewhere down the way, and then, like I said, there's that stairwell going to the outside, and you can see men yeah. and walking And they're all around. unarmed. I didn't say to do anything. I was just asking a question. Just reminding you in a certain <laughs> tone, take from it what you will. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see him, like, starting to move his fingers and looking <laughs> around, and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, during everybody else's uh, perceiving of her history, I was noticing what a great bar this room would make. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I could put a thing over here and have yeah, the joint. Yes. <laughs> so if we take out this inky lady, that's awesome for you and for the island. And if we take out this other douchebag, then you'll just you just want to leave this place? To avenge my husband's death, I would be willing to give up his last piece of property. And, you know, she's trying to carry on his name, so to speak. She goes, tell me, what kind of ship do you have? In service, but I don't know. I, I don't know. The long you, boat. Yeah, yeah, long ship. A, the sailing boat. kind. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, the water type. And, and how has it fared? Well enough. Sinks like a stone. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she kind of... She's casing our ship. <laughs> yeah. It, it, she goes, we're casing her, she's casing us. It's, it's part yeah. of the dance. I have an option for you. You go show your pirate prowess, which is what you want to do. I'll take 50%, but we'll tell you which ship to go after. 
I don't like being told what to do. Ah, you're one of those pirates. I'm a pirate. It's not one of those pirates. It's a pirate thing. We don't... That's the whole reason we do what we do. Mm. I know you're not one of us. I know you married one of us, so clearly you have a attraction to the to the craft. But we don't like being told what to do. Well, I think that while our captain mulls over your proposals for Inky Lady and Douchebag, um, um, <laughs> there's really some like new cartoons. Yeah. The goal is to crack the rock. Then say which part. Marry her. No. <laughs> I, while our captain mulls this over, I'd love a tour of the rest of the place. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> I'd love a tour of the rest of the place to see what we might be buying into should we go after and kill douchebag guy. And uh, she just me. calls out. Yeah, yeah. And and two of the guards mm-hmm. come down the steps and they lead you upstairs. Okay. And as you go upstairs, you notice there's eight cannons, mm-hmm. right? And of course, four of them are over mm-hmm. pointed at your boat. The other four are still facing. And it adds a spectacular view of the trade route. And they have the biggest spyglass you have ever seen. But the neat thing about it is that there's like a piece of wood mm-hmm. and there's a slit in the wood that goes all the way around so it stays perfectly level. Panoramic. Yeah, exactly. And it's it and it's huge. It's one of the it, it's monstrous. It, it uses must, a regular spyglass as a spawning scope. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, but how many dudes are up there? There's four. Four dudes up there. Okay, and then is there any other way? To where I am, other than where I came from. No. Okay. No. So you have this this top part, and you're overlooking the island, and you definitely notice like there's some root vegetables growing. And do down I see there. any other people down there? You see no other ones, but uh, you know. So can I be under the assumption that we have four dudes up here, four dudes in the room down there? And then that, that that second floor uh-huh. had all the doors closed and locked, and there were four doors. So, you're thinking that you don't know if anyone was in those rooms, but there's four other rooms. Okay, so I'm going to come back downstairs and say, oh, it's really nice upstairs. What about the rest of the place? <gasps> she, she, she has them lead you down, okay. right? And, and they show you, and they open the door, and there's mm-hmm. two more guys okay. in there, and they're just kind of like... Hanging out, waiting, Playing you cards. know, waiting for orders is yeah. really what they're... And then they show you another mm-hmm. room, and it's the galley, and it's where all the food is made, the kitchen, where all the food is made. What do I think, what do I, like, do they have a lot of food, like... Yeah, no, they have a, a good amount of okay. food, um, but it does look like it was all grown here, and okay. most of it is fish. Okay. You know, as far as the meat source goes. Farmer's market. Yeah, right. okay. exactly. Locally sourced. <laughs> right. All right, so we have a break room, we have the kitchen. And then they tell you that they go, whoosh, and they move this little slider on the third door. And inside that door is, if I remember correctly, let me... Albert's triplet? No, it's... Octomom going around in the shackles. He ate that in the womb. <laughs> no. He's not a cannibal. <laughs> no, he's a um, Kanka, tiger shark. Kanka's mouse. like his Polynesian brother. His dad is pimping around is what's happening. 